Hi guys, it's Stephanie. It's September 12th, Monday. So, when I woke up this morning, it was like a lightning just hit my head and it woke me up even further from my sleep. It woke me up to reality. It woke me up to reality. And when I woke up this morning, I decided that I'm gonna pull the plug on my entire plan. And if you wanna know why, be sure to tune in when we come back. But first, I wanna thank all my subscribers and those people just checking out my channel for the first time. If you find something here that resonates with you, <clears throat> please consider on subscribing. We'll be right back. So this morning when I woke up, I pulled the plug on, on every plan I had for this week regarding to purchasing my land and selling my home. I have spent the past two weeks apartment hunting. And my conclusion is this, <clears throat> the minimum that I'm gonna pay for a one bedroom is almost $1,700 a month. $1,688 a month to be exact. That boils down to $20,250 a year. Let me say that again. $20,250 a year just to rent a one measly apartment, one, mes one bedroom measly apartment, okay? If I want a two bedroom, it's $2,400 a month. These are what is available, okay? You're gonna pay for a two bedroom apartment that you'll never own almost $28,000 a year. Why is the market so high like this? Because the inventory is low, is very low. There's too many people looking for apartments, okay? And I can't see myself selling my home where it only costs me less than $600 a month to live. Where I live now, I have 1,500 square feet. I have two full baths, I got a full kitchen, a dining area, and a living room. And a media room, with, and also a breakfast nook, totaling 1,500 square feet. What am I getting for six, 1,600 and eighty-eight dollars a month on a one-bedroom, five hundred square feet, five hundred square feet, and I'm going to pay twenty thousand dollars a year. So they're saying that the reason why the rental industry is so incredibly high, a thirty percent increase from the past two years, 
30% because there's too many people trying to get in that one apartment that you're trying to get into. And a lot of people are offering to, to pay up to three to four months in advance just so they can get an apartment. So what this does, it causes rental companies to increase their prices because they know they can get it. They know that the market is high. If I'm looking to get into an apartment and, and my income meets their criteria, they might not even rent to me anyway. Why? Because there's someone willing to pay three to four months in advance. They'd rather take that than my regular monthly uh, payment. And a lot of rental apartments or rental companies, they're attaching utilities onto your rent even before you use them. Okay? When I pay 1688 that's not even including my utilities. Okay? So after my utilities and apartment insurance, renter's insurance, my car payment, my groceries, I'm way over $2,000 a month. These are the reasons why I pulled the plug. If I was to rent for $1,688 or $2,400 a month, I might as well stay where I am, take that money, and keep banking it. So all of these things have changed my mind. Okay? All of these things have changed my mind. I'm going to take that money where I otherwise would have given the rental companies and stick it and continue, continue to stick it in my savings. And when the time comes, I don't have to sell my home to buy a piece of land. I just go to my bank, withdraw the money and pay the land cash. I don't have to be forced to sell my home to buy a piece of property. I can sell that home at my own convenience when I want to, not because I have to. I was selling it so I can get um, the equity out of it to pay for my land cash. Instead, I'm going to hold on for 12 months or a little bit more. I'll have that money and I'll pay for my land cash. And I'll have my equity plus my land plus my land to build my home. Free and clear. I'm not going to let the economy <clears throat> or the inflation or pressure from people to sell my home so I can go and rent. When you go into an apartment or rental agreement, you're locked into that for at least 12 months. Okay? They don't do less than 12 months. Okay? They don't do month to month. And if they do, it's 15% more. I don't want to get into a gridlock where now I'm renting and I can't get out of the rental. So that's why I pulled the plug this morning. I called up my realtor. I called up the other realtor that was selling my home and I just pulled the plug. I feel bad because these people are trying to help me, so they think. But I'm not gonna screw myself by doing what most people are doing. They see the value increase on their home and they, they run to sell it so they can make a profit. You can't forget, after you sell your home, where are you gonna go? Do you think you're, you think you're gonna get a better deal by buying another home? Okay, a lot of that money you make from your, from your, uh, from, from your home that's equity is gonna be gone because you have to get to another place to live. So all these reasons I'm giving you guys are why I'm staying where I'm staying for the next 12 to 24 months until I am rock, rock ready. 
when I can pay cash for my land, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my goal, okay? Guess what? Because I've done this, I have no more stress. I was stressing out for two weeks. I didn't know where I was gonna live. I didn't know how I was gonna afford to live in, a, in, a, in an apartment. I had to get a second job just to afford to pay rent. I don't know how people are doing it. Most people are couples. I don't know how single people are doing it. I really don't. I really, really don't. All I can say is at the end of the year, my HOA is gonna go up, but it ain't gonna go up what they're charging for rent, okay? And it ain't gonna go up what they're charging for rent. It'll probably go up $20. Okay. I would have to be in my home over 12 years to equal what these rental companies are charging. Okay, I have to stay in my home for over 12 years for my rent to match up what these rental companies are charging. They're killing people. They're holding people back from even from even living comfortable. When I sat down with a rental agent last week, I had, I had to wait for her to get off the phone because she was speaking with a rental person who lived there and they were arguing. They were arguing. I can see how these rental costs can cause stress in someone who was working 40 hours a week trying to put food on their table and keep a roof over their head. They're working just to throw their money away. I cannot throw my, my, my money away. So what if I sell my home and reap almost a hundred grand? A hundred grand today is nothing. It's not a lot of money in this inflation and, this, and in this economy that we're in. If I would have sold my home and went and rented, I would have gone through some of that money within months. So I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off because I work hard for my money. And that's where I am today. And I'm happy I made this decision. I'm not gonna look at land and I'm not gonna be selling. I just can't. My dream is not dead. My dream home and my dream land is not dead. I just made it more accessible. It's more accessible and I don't have to be Press, uh, pressured or stressed out into thinking where I'm going to live when I sell my home. You guys have a great day. If anybody's out there looking to do the same thing, think twice. Think three times. Maybe four. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.